I'm glad to have arrived at the country doing this job. I've never been to Bexhill before today. It's lovely, isn't it? It's a very unique place. I've never before been to a town uh, where the high street consists of nine charity shops and a sailing club. <laughs> And it's so, I did, and once you're in for about three hours, you do start thinking, uh, it's not just the buildings, is it? We are actually in 1935, yeah? <laughs> I can know, who's got some jokes about Stanley Baldwin? They're not going to get to know who? Cameron, who is this person? I love the station, the quaintest, beautiful old station, and it's so Bex Hill, because it's all red bricky station, with a chemist's. In, in the station, because they know Bexhill people, don't they? They know if we're going to go all the way to Eastbourne, they'll need some milk and magnesia. <laughs> oh, I can't go all the way there and back without any medicine. I'll get indigestion. It's a rat race up there, Eastbourne. I've got a post office, all sorts. I don't trust it. <laughs> Which you know is lovely, and to be honest, it's far too big for what you need, really, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and I did think, God, it's very flattering that so many people have come out to see us. And then I thought, on the other hand, imagine if there was something else on in Bexhill they'd rather go to. What a fucking insult that would be. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? In the middle of Sussex, just here. Six lefty comics for a lefty furniture cause. I know you, I bet the mayor's organising a load of paratroopers outside. <laughs> okay, we've got the place surrounded. But to wonder there hasn't somebody been killed already. You must be the only 600 people in the, within a five mile radius that don't have a subscription to the Telegraph. 